My name is Maria Archer, and I'm the principal at Eastern Mennonite Elementary School. I'd like to talk a little bit about the history of EMES and also some of the distinctive aspects of our school. So 10 years ago, EMES began, and a group of parents really envisioned uh, a school where students would be challenged academically, uh, where the arts would be central to the curriculum and not just an add-on, uh, where students would be able to play outside and explore and enjoy God's creation, and a place where they would be taught to think critically and develop leadership skills. So EMES began 10 years ago, and we've been at two different locations in our 10 years, and we've learned a lot about ourselves in both of those locations. We began at the lower level of Linda Mennonite Church, and Pastor Dwayne Yoder, the pastor of Linda Mennonite Church, would come down to our gatherings often and talk to us and give us a lesson. And we knew early on that connection to the church was going to be important to the school. In addition, there were other members of the church that came down and we visited them and had a connection with them that we continue to this day. And so being connected to church was very important to us. We also realized that having students um, interact with each other, students of different age levels, was going to be important to our school. So science buddies or reading buddies or committees that are multi-age uh, began those years and they still continue today. We outgrew Lindale, and so we, uh, our second location is North 11, where we are today. And if you've ever been out here, you know that we have expansive outdoor space here. And we quickly realized after being here for a while that having our students be outdoors as much as possible was going to be an important part of who we were as well. So our students today, we have gardens where they can plant and harvest things. We have a lot of outdoor space for a recess time where we can do science outside. Um, our students walk every day from class to class outdoors and we really want them to get fresh air and uh, to enjoy the outside. Another thing that we've appreciated about this space is we have recognized that we want our students to be engaged in planning and being a part of creating what our school will be. Those first years, nothing was set in stone. We developed all of our traditions those first few years, and we still continue to make sure our students have some sense of being a part of planning who we are. And so our committees that they are a part of help them to do this, as well as a lot of other ways that our students show leadership. So our students uh, actively learn here. They are challenged to be critical thinkers. Uh, they are given leadership opportunities. Um, they are asked how they solved the problem, not just what the answer was. And most importantly, all of our learning and curriculum um, are done in the context of faith development. And we practice every day and talk about what it means to be a follower of Jesus. So our faith development and then our academics together work in tandem and help students to find ways to grow as learners. So it's been a wonderful 10 years. And I look forward to the future of EMES.